Let's get started by first establishing what estimating is. We'll provide you with a definition of cost estimating, discuss its importance, the estimating process, timing and key roles and responsibilities during the estimating process. Estimating is the process of accurately determining project costs. It's basically about working out how much money a project is going to cost to deliver. Through estimating, what we're basically doing is translating a project scope and design into a cost to deliver. So, we need to understand the project requirements, work out what we're actually being asked to build, establish a delivery methodology, complete quantity takeoffs, build up labour, plant and material rates, and get quotes from subcontractors. By the end, we should know, hopefully pretty accurately, how much the project is going to cost to deliver. Why is this important, and why does it matter? Well, I kind of covered in section 1, but basically estimating is important because construction contracts are usually fixed fee. This means the price risk is transferred from the client to the contractor, and the contractor is responsible for the end project cost. As a contractor, to be able to take on the risk and manage it properly, we need to be able to accurately estimate this fixed fee. If our estimate is too low, when delivering the project, we won't have enough money. If it's too high, we won't win any work. No client will sign us up to deliver a project because our estimates will be too high. Additionally, we'll use estimating to price variations during delivery. This is where the client changes scope and we need to work out our cost impact. Furthermore, as part of our forecasting and cost monitoring and control, we'll use estimating to calculate our cost to complete. And finally, being able to work out the cost of different options during delivery will be critical with value engineering and option analysis. Let's now look at what our cost estimate is made up of. Firstly, we've got our project costs. There are two types of costs, direct costs and indirect costs. Direct costs are costs directly related to the delivery of project scope, like the cost of asphalting a road or pouring a concrete foundation. Next, we've got our indirect costs, which are costs not directly related to a scope, but necessary to keep the project running, like management staff, side offices, security at night, and so on. We combine direct and indirect costs to get our total project costs. To this, we then add on our contingency, known as our risk and opportunity and profit margin to get our price to the client. So, we just gave you a couple of key terms that we're going to spend the rest of this unit going through. We had direct costs, so the costs relating to the delivery of scope, indirect costs, which aren't directly related to a given scope, total cost, which is a combination of direct and indirect, contingency, which is allowance for risk and margin, which is a percentage we add to our costs to work out the price we provide to the client. When we estimate this fixed fee, we'll depend on the contract model used by the client. On a typical design and construct contract, we'll estimate this fixed fee during the tender stage. On an alliance contract, we'll work with the client to determine this fixed fee after contract award. And on an early contractor involvement contract, we'll do this after we've already worked with the client for an extended period of time. Basically, in all these situations, we'll still eventually estimate a fixed fee the contract model will determine when. Some forms of contract, like managing contractor or cost plus contracts, don't require us to estimate a fixed fee as we're simply paid for the work we complete plus an agreed upon profit margin. So, who needs to be able to estimate costs? Well, working at a contractor, we've got quite a few different roles and people who estimate costs and need to be able to accurately quantify them. Firstly, as you'd guess from the name, Estimators specialise in calculating costs. They're the masters at turning a project scope into a dollar figure and usually work in tender teams. On projects, we've got quantity surveyors who manage the commercial side of projects and, as part of administrating contracts, need to be able to estimate. Also, project engineers and managers during construction will use estimating and work with quantity surveyors to look at costs and perform value engineering. And finally, on some projects, if they're big enough, they may have dedicated cost planners who manage costs on projects.